Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. Today I'm going to use my magnetic dent removal system. Most of my videos are how-to videos and they're geared towards technicians and hobbyists who want to fix things. But a lot of people who do not fix instruments and many who even do not play an instrument say they enjoy watching my videos to see how to fix things. This is going to be more one of those type of videos. Most people do not have a magnetic dent removal system and I do not even suggest buying one unless you are a serious repair technician who does a lot of work on tubas and sousaphones. The makers of the magnetic dent removal system have already put a lot of videos on their website for technicians about how to use these tools. So I am going to defer to them on the technical videos. This video is going to be for those who just enjoy watching dents get removed from instruments. These magnets are very strong and you have to be very careful whenever you're holding one of these magnets because things that get too close can go snapping to it very quickly and if your hand is in the way it can cause damage. So actually I probably shouldn't even have my hand right there. There are several different sizes of these dent balls. They are very large and you notice I'm not putting them too close together. The larger the dent ball, the more pull it has towards the magnet. And then the smallest dent ball, or at least the smallest I have in the collection that I have here, they do make smaller ones than this, but I do not own them. The smaller the dent ball, the less pull that there is. And this is the smaller of the two magnets. I have a larger one there. I'm going to show you how strong these magnets are. You can't really feel much now, but once you get closer, the closer you get, the more pull that there is on there. There is a cap on here so that there's more space between the magnet and the dent ball. So if I pulled the cap off, then there would be even more pull between the magnet and the dent ball. So I'm going to show you that. So that dent ball is on there pretty good. You have to pull pretty hard to get it off. And if I had the largest ball, it would be even more so. I have to be careful when I do this. Okay, see that is on there. Really good. That's not coming off very easily. Now I'm going to get that apart. One easier way to get it apart is to roll it off to the side. And if it's on the edge, it comes apart a little bit easier. I'm going to put the cap back on to make sure it stays a little safer. And then even when you're putting it away in here, if you put this away the wrong way and get the magnets too close together, they can come flying at each other and do some damage. So. You have to be careful how you put that away even. And then this is the stronger of the two magnets. This is larger than the other one. The largest dent ball and the largest magnet are going to have the most pull to them. I'll show you what this whoa, looks like. Yeah, see that? So, uh, yeah. Uh, there we go. I finally got it off when I rolled it to the side. But I had a hard time getting it off when it was in the middle. As you can probably guess, the way that this works is the magnet goes on the outside of the tubing, the dent ball goes on the inside, and then the dent ball, as you go back and forth, rolls over the inside of the tubing and it pushes any of those dents out. This system works very well on some dents and it does not work at all on other dents. And a lot of that depends on how large the tubing is. Any tubing smaller than this dent ball, which is about an inch and a quarter, you cannot get in there and you can even get the dent ball stuck if you go in too far with this. Also, the system does not work well at all, like inside the small cracks on these two instruments, because all of this tubing is in the way and you cannot get the magnet in there to pull on the dent ball. The one thing that makes that not that bad is usually if these slides are in the way, the inside of the tubing on the inside of the instrument is protected. And usually there are far more dents on the places on an instrument where you can get the dents out easily. Here's the tuba I'm going to be working on. And this may look like it has a lot of dents, and it does have quite a few dents. But as far as tubas go, it's not that bad. Usually tubas are far worse than this. I'm not going to get any dents out in this section where I can get with my mandrels and my threaded dent balls. There are several dents on the bell bow that I'm going to get out. And this system works very well on these type of dents right here. It does not work as well underneath the bow guards because the metal is stronger there because it's doubled up. There are several large dents on here and this system will get most of these dents out with no problem. There are some dents here. I should be able to get those out without much problem. If there are any dents in any of these side tubes, you cannot get those out at all with this system. Well, that's enough talking. Now I'm going to get to work. 
The tubing on this tuba is very large. If I hold it up next to this one, you can see that this is a lot larger than this. So I'm going to use the largest dent ball. On this one, the largest dent ball would have a hard time getting past about here. On this tuba, the largest dent ball can probably make it all the way to here. So I'm going to use the largest dent ball, and since that has a lot of pull on the magnet, I'm going to use the smaller of the two magnets. I'm going to get started. The first thing to do is get the dent ball to the magnet without doing any damage. If this dent ball goes rolling in on the bottom of the tubing, and I have the magnet up here, it could snap up and push the metal out from the inside. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to start by putting the magnet about here, and I'm going to roll the dent ball in. Okay, now it's stuck on the other side of the tubing here. I don't want to scrape up the instrument when I'm working on this. This is an old drum head and it works very well for protecting the lacquer. It helps to tape the drum head on, so I put some tape on that to hold on to the drum head. And now I'm going to go over this. And you have to go back and forth, usually several times. Okay, let's see how that looks. That looks a lot better than it did. Not perfect yet, but I'm going to go over that again. Okay, I did notice there's a dent right there. The dents underneath the bow guard are harder to get out because the metal is two pieces of metal thick instead of just one piece of metal thick. I'm going to see how this works. If it does not get those dents out, I'm going to switch over to the larger magnet. I'm going to run this back and forth several times over those dents. Okay, those dents are a little bit better, but not too much. I think I'm going to have to switch over to the larger magnet. I'm going to get this magnet off of there. Here's the larger magnet, and this one has a lot of force on it. Now let's see how this one does. Okay, I'm going to go back and forth over the dent. The reality is that this system does not get all of the dents out. If you want to get all of the dents out, you'll need to unsolder the tubing on the instrument and pull it all apart anyway. But if you want to get most of the dents out without taking apart the instrument, this system works very well. Now I'm going to move over to this section with some of the largest dents and show you how it works on this. I'm going to work on this section now. Before I get started, I'll show you the dents. There they are. Some of them are pretty significant. I'm going to put the drum head back on there to protect it. I'm going to use the same dent ball, and it's the largest one that I have. I'll put that in the tuba. I'm going to switch back to the smaller of the two magnets. Okay, now I'm going to... Get, okay, there. Now it's, it's hooked up. So, oops. Came undone. That was because of the big dent there. Okay, now I'm going to start going over this. Okay. There are some rather large dents under here. But this should do a good job of taking this out. So I'm going to go back and forth more times over the places where the dents are the worst. Okay. Oops. That's lost the dent ball there. There. Got it back again. It wants to pop off because of that large dent. When it runs into the dent, it gets far enough away from the magnet that it lets go of it. So I'm going to try to get that large dent out. And this is the worst dent on the instrument right there. Let's see how it does with this one.
I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to go back and forth. It will probably take several minutes to get this then out. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. It's several minutes later. This is where that really large dent was. There is still a little bit of rippling here on the metal. I'm going to have to get that out some more. There's still a pretty bad crease right here. And these are harder to do because it's next to the ferrule. When the magnet runs into the ferrule, it kind of gets hung up on that. So that makes these dents quite difficult. And when they are creased, like a V-shape, those dents are harder to get out with the magnetic dent system too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my dent hammers, try to round that out a little bit and tap it in so that it's more of a smooth dent rather than a V-shaped dent. And I'm going to try that one again. I smoothed this dent out with the dent hammers. Now I'm ready to go back to the magnets and pull that dent out. So I'm going to put that on there and, and we'll try this one again. Come on. Okay, well, it's coming out a little bit. Okay, the dent is coming out a little bit. I can still see that it's not as good as it should be. Just keep working on that until it's done. I was having problems with that dent, so I switched over to the one with a curved head on it. This is usually used on the bows on the inside so that you can get at the inside of the curved part of instruments. But it did seem to work well at guiding the dent ball into the right place to get at the dent. So that dent is a lot better than it was. You can still see that there's some rippling and it did pull on the metal a bit here. These dents are a lot better than they were, but still they're not perfect. I'm going to switch back to the smaller magnet and continue working. I think this section is about done. I'm going to move back to this one. And this is a section I was having a hard time working on because the dent ball was falling off of it. So. Let's see how it does now. I've been working on the tuba for about an hour. I worked on this section of the bell bow for a while and probably maybe 45 minutes or so on this part. And this is how this looks now. It's a lot better than it was. It's still not perfect. But whenever you get dents in a piece of tubing, it, it never is perfect when you're done because there will always be some sort of rippling or some marks on the lacquer that will make it not perfect. So it did a pretty good job overall. But if I unsoldered the bell bow and then got in there with the mandrels, it would probably look a little bit better. It's just extremely hard to take off these things and then solder them back together. It can be done, but it's very difficult to unsolder such a large joint like this one and this one. So this is a lot easier, but it probably did not do quite as good of a job as I could have done with the mandrels. I still have several more dents in this instrument that I need to take out with the magnetic dent system, but I am going to do that later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos and look in the description below for a link to related videos.